Okay, so even though we are profitable almost every single year and we are the highest grossing theme park in the world, I think the only way we can make sure we continue to not go under is by crossbreeding a dinosaur. Yeah, but sir, didn't Mr. Hammond try doing that 22 years ago by crossbreeding dinosaur DNA with a, with DNAs of frogs and it ended up going south that time? We're, but that was with a frog, okay? This time we're going to take extra precautions by also crossbreeding it with not just a frog uh, to hide its thermal signature, but also a cuttlefish to give it camouflage. Uh, also, a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a, bunch, and a bunch of other giant carnivorous dinosaurs in order to give it its size. And we're going to, and in order to give it some intelligence, we're going to crossbreed it with a Velociraptor. So we've learned absolutely nothing since last time. Is that what? Is that it? I can assure you, nothing terrible will possibly happen with this. I see nothing going wrong here. At all. Doctor, crossbreed now! Yes, sir. Three hours later. Hey guys, Adam here. Welcome to another uh, On the Couch. Um, so, Jurassic World. Been waiting for this <laughs> since actually the first trailer, although my expectations kind of lowered after a while, which normally happens. Um, but, Man, this is gonna divide a lot of people, and it already has actually. Like some people are saying, "Oh, this is great." Some people say, "Oh, it's fun, but not, but not great." Or people are saying, "Saying it flat out sucks." Um, Jurassic World. I think it's fine. I enjoyed myself um, for the most part, anyway. I, I mean, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean. Um, it's um, it's awesome or it's great. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely not the original. Uh, there's there's no way it was ever going to beat the original. There was no way to there was no way it was going to be uh, it was going to surpass it or be on par with it. Anyone who was expecting that really uh, really needs to like lower their expectations and more likely they're going to enjoy it enjoy it a little bit more. Um, so the plot, um, excuse me, it's been 22 years since, uh, since the incident on, on the original Jurassic Park. Uh, Engine, the, uh, I-N-G-E-N, um, the, uh, company that was owned by John Hammond, by, uh, who was played by the late Richard Attenborough, has created Jurassic World, which has been going on for a number of years, actually. So this thing actually, this the theme park actually happened. The thing at, by this point, you all know from the trailers, the theme park has happened. It's not a new attraction. It's been going on for a long number of years. Uh, how long? I don't know. I would say, let's say, I mean, it depends, really. But uh, I'll get into that later. Um, but. They, but because they want to be able to because maintain profitability, they have to release uh, a new attraction every other year, every year or two years. So they decided to create a new dinosaur, but not just uh, breathe, uh, not just birth one, but 
design it. They actually genetically modified a dinosaur called the Idominus Rex. Yes, even... <laughs> it is a stupid name. Um, and, but because of the shit they crossed it with, it ends up becoming a bad idea. And so Chris Pratt, Brass D Dallas Howard, and the rest of the staff of Jurassic World has to not only protect the citizen or protect the uh, protect uh, the park goers, but stop this new monstrosity, this Franken Rex. That's a better that, shit. That's a better name than a Dominus Rex. Um, like I said, this movie is fine. It is. It's not great. But like you turn your brain off and you're watching a B a B movie that your your typical B movie. That's it. Now, does it now does it do well by respecting Jurassic Park? Yeah, for for the most again, for the most part. Um but it's it's a monster movie, really. Um it, it's a monster movie. But it does have good ideas. It does explain some stuff, um, and the action is not bad, especially in the second half. The action is not bad at all. Um, cast. <sighs> There's a lot of characters, actually, and I'm not going to go... I'm going to try and go through all of them, but I'm not going to go... But I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, first off, Chris Pratt is amazing. <laughs> he... He carries... Excuse me. He carries this movie. He does. He carries this movie. This movie, it, I mean, he, at this point, he is a goddamn movie star. He is. He's, I mean, he's a Star-Lord, this. Uh, he's supposed to be in another movie uh, with uh, being directed by the guys that directed John Wick. Um, he's doing a couple other things. He's, he's, a, he's a movie star at this point, and he, and it shows here. And what I really love is how he can really, he can say, one of the downsides is the dialogue's pretty bad. But he can say it with a straight face and make it look, and make it sound genuine. <laughs> You're laughing at the dialogue, but he makes the dialogue sound genuine. Like, he's really good at that. He is fantastic at that. And so I, 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 I love him for that. I really, I really, really do. Um... I mean, just Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's funny. Chris Pratt is got is charismatic as fuck here, and I mean, he, like I said, he carries the movie. He's actually the smartest person in this entire movie. He is. Everyone else is a goddamn moron. They are fucking stupid. Um, he's the only one that said like, um, there's a subplot in this movie and. <laughs> just like Jurassic Park there's a subplot in this movie where Vincent D'Onofrio um once uh once uh has just been shown that Chris Pratt can tame the raptors Chris Pratt's not a, is not an employee of Jurassic World he's an employee of Engine so he's not like uh, a park um he's not what I originally assumed was he he's not the rap, he's not a raptor tamer to show to the masses he works to uh, provide a report of yes we can tame these things we can tame them we can't control them but we can tame them like he is basically straight up saying look these raptors are cannot be controlled they can be tamed they can be taught they can, uh, you can let them know who is boss, but they cannot be controlled. All right, these fucking things, they still want to eat me. They still want to eat me, but I'm going to let them know you cannot eat me. You can't because I am, I am in charge here. I, you, I respect you guys, but you've got to respect me back. And, and yeah. And, and so yeah, he's the smartest person. Hell, he's the one who straight up says when he's told about the new Indominus Rex, he is told. He just flat out says, 
you bred this thing in captivity and you crossbred it with a bunch of other dinosaurs. You're not gonna tell me what it's crossbred with and it shows high intelligence. This is the dumbest idea you've ever come up with. Ever. And he's right. This is idiotic. This is the most idiotic thing they've ever done. It's like they never not learn their lesson. Like if they could, I mean, the reason why Jurassic World has been doing pretty well for the last few years is because they didn't do stupid shit like this. They were actually playing it safe. And now they're like, oh yeah, we're just gonna genetically crossbreed a fucking dinosaur with a bunch of other dinosaurs and a frog and a cuttlefish. Oh yeah, and let's throw a fucking raptor in there too to show, give us some goddamn intelligence. Oh yeah, real smart guys. I mean, that doesn't mean that Indominus Rex is not a bad villain dinosaur. Like, this thing is terrifying. This thing is... This thing is goddamn terrifying. This thing kills people like a motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, back to characters. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, it takes a while to like her. It does. Br Bryce Dallas Howard, it takes a long time to like her because the first half of the movie, she's, oh, I'm a businesswoman. I ain't got time for family. Uh, I believe these are just animals. We can control them. We can control the Indominus Rex. Again, stupid. Until she realizes, oh, fuck me. But then in the second half, she does become likable because then she realizes, oh, I fucked up. Let me make amends. So, yeah, she becomes likable. Uh, the kid, the two kids of this movie are Ty Simpkins, uh, fr who played Harley from uh, Iron Man 3, uh, who I actually didn't mind. He was actually fine in that movie. Uh, and he's fine in this. Uh, and the other one is his big brother. I don't know who plays him. Hold on a second. I'm actually going to check because I, I cannot remember this kid's name. Uh, like, I think his character's name was Eric or something. I, I could be wrong. But, uh, hold on a second. Uh, Nick Robinson, and he plays Zach. <sighs> All right. I said in my Poltergeist review that I hate teenagers in movies. I cannot stand them. They are poorly written because it, because they are written by adults, but they think they know how to write teenagers. They don't. Um, <clears throat> and he's another example of that. The difference is here is, uh, the difference is this. He gets his shit together he actually does show, sometimes just does show genuine compassion for his little brother, unlike the f fucking bitch in the lat and poltergeist. And um, and he's useful. Hell, the little brother is useful too. The little brother I like more because one, the the kid actor's good. He's not bad. Um, but. He's also very smart. He's very, uh, he's very uh, tech savvy. He, he knows his things. He is the one. He's the one who's really excited to go to Jurassic World because he loves dinosaurs. He loves them a lot. Like he is the Timmy of this movie. He is. He's the Timmy of this movie. Um, and um, and it, and <laughs> and it works here. It, it it really does work with this with these characters. Or uh, with this character, but somehow he can also uh, help hotwire a 1992 Jeep Wrangler, and his brother can drive it. Which, is, which, wow, okay. And even though he doesn't have his license, and he's driving just fine. But the other thing about this big brother is he has a girlfriend. They show his girlfriend. And he keeps staring at these other girls throughout the entire... He is like this on his phone. Like, uh, 
Yes, I look at girls. I look at pretty girls. I do. Because I'm a guy. But... You're at a fucking theme park. With dinosaurs. And you're not interested? I'm sorry. You're an idiot. You're a damn moron. I would be... I'm gonna fuck you, bitch! Dinosaur of a damn motherfucker! Because dinosaurs are awesome. Dinosaurs are fucking awesome. So yeah, that's all I got. But like I said, he gets likable in the second half. I like the little brother. Um, their parents are fine. Judy, Judy Greer plays uh, the mom. And she uh, she's the older sister of Bryce Dallas Howard. And she's like, you know, I pre I'm glad you have you're you're such a good businesswoman, but you've really got to spend more time with your nephews. I mean, Bryce Dallas Howard doesn't even know how old her nephews are, which, and even Chris, even Chris Pratt's like, you don't even know how old your nephews are. You're an idiot. It just it just makes you until she finally gets her shit together. Until she finally goes, okay, fine. Fine. Uh, let's go get them. That's 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 um, that's when she actually gets likable. Is when she is when she get uh, realizes. Oh, we fu again. We fucked up. Let's get my nephews back. Um, I better make this quick. Um. Vincent D'Onofrio. All right, if you remember my Daredevil review, I said he was one. He he had one of the best performances in the entire show. He, his performance as the Kingpin was phenomenal. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. God damn it! Where the fuck was that in this movie? Where the fuck was that? Because it wasn't here. It was gone. It was fucking gone. I was I'm not saying he needed to be the kingpin, but he needed to bring his fucking A game to this, and it wasn't here. Alright, so Vincent D'Onofrio, I'm gonna get into uh, more spoilers here, uh, especially with the subplot. He's a military con uh, he's or I should say he's head of engine security. He's also a former military special ops, I would have to say. And he's, and he's the one who wanted to do the whole, oh, hey, let's bring dinosaurs into the military because that's going to totally save lives. Like, they're fucking dinosaurs. Those raptors will eat your ass, which they do. <laughs> no, I'm serious. One of the raptors actually ate them, and it was hilarious. It was great. But... The other thing is, he's just like, oh yeah, 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 come on, come on, let's let's bring these uh, dinosaurs out on the field, send them to Afghanistan and shit. And, that's not, and like I said, I'll get more into it. But he keeps making all these military metaphors and sh analogies and shit throughout the entire movie, and I'm just kind of going, dude, stop, we get it. I mean, he is fucking cliche, and he's actually kind of the villain of this movie. Like, well, other than the Indominus Rex, there is no real villain of this in this movie. But I guess you could say he kind of is, because it turns out the Indominus Rex was actually not meant to be an attraction, but an experiment to possibly not only reduce it down to size, but also send it out into the field for military purposes. That's what it turns out to be. And they completely dropped that subplot. And here's the other thing. I remember like a few years ago when they were saying, oh, we're gonna do Jurassic Park 4. Uh, that was one of the that was one of the plots was, oh, uh, we're going to actually have like raptors and dinosaurs with lasers on their heads. Uh, um, we're, we're gonna make these special ops groups and it's very evident some of that idea made it to the final script, to the final script and final product. And it's a little, it's ridiculous. It, it is. You, you really got to, 
I like I said, turn your brain off to to rem to to buy that shit. But they don't have lasers. They have like little cameras on their heads. So whatever. Um. All right. So enough with Vincent D'Onofrio. Uh, some of the other characters are, like I said, a lot of the characters aren't really likable. A lot of them are very cliched, and there's so many of them. Uh, Irfan's. I'm probably saying it wrong. Hold on. Um. Uh, Irfan Khan. Uh, he was. Um, God. He was in Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, he was the Indian guy. He's. Um, he's in this too. He plays the. Uh, the. Uh, the new CEO of. Uh, of. Uh, engine or or no i'm sorry of must runny corporation he's the ceo of this he he's i guess you could say he's the protege of uh of uh john hammond he's the guy that john hammond left everything to or left the company to and uh he has this weird subplot of oh yes i am learning to fly a helicopter and he flies a helicopter to face the Indominus Rex, and that's basically him learning how to pilot a helicopter is just to set up, is basically a setup for him to die. That's it. That's all he's there for. Uh, same thing with Brian T. Brian T, the new shredder for the upcoming Ninja Turtles sequel, uh, is in this in a very brief role, and he hardly has any lines. And he um he just sets himself up to die that's it i mean like he's in the trailer they show him die yeah he's just set up he j he's just set up to die um omar Sai bishop is in this too so yeah you got kingpin uh kingpin star lord bishop and the kid from iron man 3 all in this movie Oh yeah, yeah, and the and the Indian dude from uh, from Amazing Spider-Man. Was Bryce Dallas Howard in? Oh yeah, yeah. Also, Gwen Stacy. <laughs> I I can't believe I forgot that Bryce Dallas Howard was Gwen Stacy. That's right. I to I actually totally forgot. <laughs> I forgot I forgot she was Gwen Stacy. But then again, she, that was Spider-Man Three, and that movie fucking sucked. Um. Um, she, there's also a secretary in this movie. Like she's uh she's um Bryce Dallas Howard's personal assistant, who's always like, oh yes, I'm I'm going to look after you while your aunt neglects you. Um, she wasn't in it long enough for me to care, but goddamn, did she die hor like she died horribly, like fucking horribly, like like oh my god, holy shit, like. Here, there's another, that's another thing, I, I'll get to the last character in a minute, but, god damn, people die in this, like, people fucking die, they don't just die, they fucking die, like, it's pretty gory, like, there's one, t one part where the Indominus Rex, like, scares all the pterodactyls and these T-Rex pterodactyl looking motherfuckers, like, they got, like the bodies of a pterodactyl with the head of a, of a T-Rex and at first I thought they were uh, crossbred as well but apparently not like apparently well the Adonis Rex is apparently the only the first one that was ever designed or crossbred this, these apparently are actual dinosaurs they just don't look very good um, uh, one of the pterodactyls flies right into um, right into uh the helicopter that Irfan Khan is flying and impales the the uh, the soldier that's sitting next to him. I'm like, holy fuck me, dude! Oh god! And like other pterodactyls are eating people, pecking them. Hell, you even see like you see people injured, but like even a kid like is wrapped in bandages. I'm like, holy shit! They are not holding back. They like they're not holding back at all. Like at fucking all. Um Also, um but yeah, last character I want to talk about was Jake Johnson. 
I knew he was in this. I just didn't know who he was playing. Like, they really kept... They didn't keep a whole lot of him in this. It's like Vincent D'Onofrio. I didn't, had no idea Vincent D'Onofrio was in this until a more recent trailer. Uh, Jake Johnson is basically the comic relief. And his... his, his uh, his scenes are very brief, but he's in it. But he's in it enough for you to really enjoy him because Jake Johnson's funny. He is like, like I said about Let's Be Cops. I liked him in it. I liked his chemistry with Damon Wayans Jr. It just wasn't a very good movie. He's very funny in this too. He's the tech nerd, um, and he's wearing, and he's the one who wears the Jurassic Park T-shirt. Uh, he's like. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, I mean, Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard's like sees him wearing the Jurassic Park. It's like, is that what I think? And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bought this on eBay. It's like, isn't it pretty cool? It's like, it's in poor taste. It's like, yeah, yeah. I know people die, but it's like, it's in poor taste. Don't ever wear it again. I'm thinking, dude, fucking wear that. Fucking wear it, man. I, I told it's. And he's got this. He's actually got this rocking mustache, man. Like. Like, it takes, I mean, like, you really had to rock a mustache to look good. Like, I mean, you had to be able to rock a mustache, and he rocks it. Like, he's a nerdy mustachio dude, but he rocks that fucking thing. And he also has, like, these little dinosaurs, toy dinosaurs on there. And he has some of the funniest lines. Like, there's a scene where they're about to uh, unveil the Indominus Rex, like, they're supposed to do it in three weeks. And, um, and Bryce Dallas Howard says, uh, says um, Verizon Wireless presents the Indominus Rex. It's like, uh, <laughs> and and Jake Johnson's like, oh yeah, yeah, let's just, <laughs> yeah, it was like Verizon Wireless already owns ballparks. Why don't they just own us now? It's like, and then just goes like the Verizon, the Verizon source, the Pepsi source, the Coke source, and, it's, and he's got like a little Jurassic World cup, and there's product placement in it, but like it's not like in your face product placement. Honestly, the product placement is kind of a joke in this. It, it is, like, I hate product placement. <laughs> um, but it's, 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 not, it's not in your face. It actually kind of makes sense since, since it's a park. It, they utilize it well. Um, also, but, like I said, he has the funniest scenes. And, um, God. And there's one other actress. I swear to God, I've seen her in something else. And her name is, um, Lauren Lopkiss. I swear, I've seen her in something else. Like a commercial or something. Um, anyone who's seen Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World or know who Lauren Lopkiss is, please tell me what I might have seen her in, like a commercial or something. Because I swear I've seen her in something else. Uh, she plays, like, her, his, like, his techie teammate person she also has some good scenes especially with him they have some really good chemistry in this show in this movie um also bb wong is in this and he's kind of i guess you could say the secondary antagonist like he he ha he's like kind of in the know-how of the whole mil di military dinosaur thing but then he like and he's being evacuated with the rest of the embryos and whatnot and then he just disappears from the rest of the movie they don't kill him off or anything so i assume they're sequel baiting or something um so yeah um now for dinosaurs they're second half of the movie it's not bad it's the cgi is not bad in the second half like it's pretty good but the first half it's not it's pretty jarring to look at like they're more detailed i'll say that they're the dinosaurs a little more detailed um and it's it's a hell of a lot better cgi than in jurassic park 3 that's for sure but they're still not very good it's but that's really just because a good chunk of it is not practical there's no there's hardly the only practical dinosaurs in this movie are the dying uh, brontosauruses. Like when the when it shows like the corp the dying corpses uh, or the dying bodies of uh, brachiosauruses or brontosauruses, that's the only practical effect they have. And it's great and they look great. They look awesome. But I really wanted to see more of that with the other dinosaurs. 
I really wanted to see like the T-Rex be practical. I wanted to see some of the Raptors be practical. Now granted the um Mosasaur Mosasaurus? Yeah, that was no way no way in hell was that gonna be practical. Hell no. And that's the other thing, that's another star of this movie. I really want to talk about the stars of this movie, the real stars of this movie. The Indominus Rex, the, ra the four raptors, especially the main one, Blue, that's what it's called. Um, the, uh, the, the Mosasaurus and the T-Rex. Um, those, those are actually the ones with the best CGI. Um, not great, but they have the best in the entire movie. Um, like, and like I said, they show the, t the raptors, like, turn on the humans. They're not, like, f they're not brainwashed or anything. They're just tamed. But then they meet the Indominus Rex, and like the morons Jurassic, Jurassic World are, they used raptor DNA. So the Indominus Rex ended up becoming the new alpha of the, of the raptors. The previous alpha was Chris Pratt. And so, the Raptors ended up getting one of the best scenes in this entire movie. Like, they are, holy shit, they are, they go back to terrifying. <laughs> they, they do, and they really, they really make it look cool because the Raptors have these little night vision cameras on their heads as they're attacking these soldiers or the, the security guard, the security personnel. They're, they're, and then they start tracing Chris Pratt and shit, and it's a little, and it's a little on your, on the edge of your seat. But then, like three of the four die, and so it's Blue versus the Indominus Rex. Yes, Blue, the main, the main raptor. There's this scene where Blue is like cornering, um, is basically uh, cornering, or the other raptors are corner, have, like three, the three remaining raptors one of them gets blown up the three remaining raptors corner uh chris pratt bryce dallas howard and the two kids and they're like i'm oh, oh, oh. oh, sorry I, i'm not very good i can't do raptors very well but they're just like and so and so and chris pratt's like blue 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 come on come on buddy come on and, and Blue's just like and, and so and so and then the Indominus Rex shows up and, the, and Blue's like hey you fuck you and then they just, just jump the, the Indominus Rex and of course two of them die Blue survives but then we get to the awesome part of this movie the last fight now the T-Rex isn't shown that much, so, which got me worried that they were going to pull a, a Jurassic Park 3 where the T-Rex wasn't going to be in it that often because they want to show off this new dinosaur. They want to they wanna say, oh yeah, fuck the T-Rex. This is the dinosaur that, that we want to show. This is the one you should, you should be going, oh yeah, no, no. They did not forget the T-Rex. They did it. And if anything, they show, they give the T-Rex the amount of respect it fucking deserves. Because the T-Rex is basically the Godzilla of this movie. Like, he, he, she shows, and it's not just a new T-Rex. It is the T-Rex. The original T-Rex from, from the first Jurassic Park. So unless the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 wasn't the same one from the first one, that means Jurassic Park 3 is non-canon, which is perfectly fucking fine with me. But here in comes the new T-Rex, just basically and just and just charges at the Indominus Rex and is biting the shit out of it, but then the Indominus Rex starts winning, and that's where I'm like, oh no, you don't! No, you You do not kill the motherfucking T-Rex. <laughs> and then the main raptor shows back up. It's like, and then, and then 
and just jumps it. Jumps the Indominus Rex, is like, dah, 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 dah. and the and the T-Rex is like, sick and win, motherfucker! And just starts biting the shit out of the Indominus Rex. Like the Indominus Rexes can't do shit for these mo against these two. And then it gets knocked into the fence, uh, knocked up against this fence to the greatest kill since since last year's Godzilla. When the Mosasaurus just lurches out of fucking no like I was not expecting this. I forgot about this damn thing. So I, uh, so yeah. So I was like, oh fuck me. <laughs> the mess. The Mosasaurus just oh, grabs the Indominus Rex and drags it back it back it uh, back into the tent, back into the pool. Oh my god, it was fan fucking. Fantastic. It was great. I'm like, oh my god. You know what? I would have loved if the T-Rex just killed the Indominus Rex, but that was the only way that thing was gonna go. Was have that damn thing just lurch out and grab the Indominus Rex. It was <laughs> the payoff was actually pretty goddamn good. It really was. And then, and then the T-Rex looks at the raptor and is like, you know what? I killed three of you motherfuckers last time when you cornered four people. Like, I, like the, like, I mean, I'm talking like a dude with a vest, a hot chick, and two kids. This is all familiar with me, but you know what? It's like, you did good, kid. You did good. So. <laughs> and just, and just looks at the rapper, is like, you did good, kid. You did good. And just walks away, he's like, <laughs> and then the raptor just looks at Chris Pratt, and just like, <laughs> Chris Pratt's just like, go, be free. Be free, Blue. Be free. <laughs> and so the rap, so Blue's like, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> just, just runs away. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I really should be laughing at this, but that's just fucking hilarious. And then it just, and then it ends with uh, Judy Greer and her husband like hugging the rest of the family. Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt get uh, end up together, and the T Rex stands on top of the uh, the control center the uh, helipad and just roars as it watches over Jurassic World as its as its giant protector <laughs> I enjoyed this movie I did it's I mean granted again the last fucking movie I saw was Poltergeist so so it had to lower so it had to really lower the fucking bar or I had to really lower the fucking bar to not enjoy this movie. They, I mean, it's a B movie, really. That's it. Like, I, I mean, I'm glad. I was kind of hoping it would invoke some of the wonder of, uh, of Jurassic Park. But at the same time, I'm glad it didn't. And while, yeah, Jurassic Park 3 was trying to be a B monster movie, it didn't do it well. This movie actually does it well. It does it well enough to where I think Jurassic Park is becoming a big franchise again. Hell, it made mo it's making its money back right now. So yeah, uh, I, I just want to ask one thing. I, or I just want to say one more thing before I take a break and do final score. This is a bad idea, making a park full of dinosaurs, but fuck it. I'm going. I want to go to this goddamn park. This park is awesome. As long as they don't start crossbreeding fucking dinosaurs, I want to go. I want to go. I want to see the T-Rex. I want to see Triceratops. I want to see Brachiosaurus. I want to see fucking raptors. I want to see this shit. This is like one of the greatest fucking parks I've ever seen and I want to fucking see it. Alright, so final score. Like I said, this isn't bad, 
It's not great, but it's not bad either. I, I enjoyed myself, but it does take, but you do have to go through some stupid shit. Like, and I mean like stupid people. You have to get through them. You have to get through some very cliched characters. You have to get through some very unlikable characters. You have to get through really a lot of boring shit. Like when, when the movie, when they show Jurassic World, you get the dun 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 And yeah, while well, the first movie did that, um, they didn't really give us the whole, and, and of course they showed the part, but I didn't see any dinosaurs. I was really expecting dinosaurs to be like, or at least dinosaurs in the background shown, but you could still see them like, that's still gonna be the centerpieces, not just this park, but the dinosaurs in the background just roaming around, but they didn't do that. So I was a little disappointed by that. And I, and I was a little scared, like I was not gonna have a good time with this movie, but I'm glad I did. I still had a good time. You still, I mean, yes, you have to get through some shit to get to the good part, but it's well worth the money. It is like just to get, if you want, if you just want to see the last fight, it's well worth the money to sit through the rest of it. It is. I assure you there's plenty of plenty in this movie to like still like Chris Pratt, like the kid. Um, Jake Johnson is a hell of a lot of fun. The dinosaurs are cool. Um, and yeah, people fucking die. People fucking die. And seeing this part makes you wish there was still, there was indeed a park. I mean, where this thing actually exists. And not just Universal Studios, but I mean real fucking dinosaurs. Um, oh yeah, and there's one other thing. Like, they make a, uh... There is a part in the movie, I mentioned the 92 Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, it's it's the Jeeps from Jurassic Park. Um, the kids stumble upon the old park, like the old center, park center. And it's like covered in, in vines and shit. And I'm like, we're not, there's a supply that's gonna be dropped. And yeah, that's another thing. Just like the first Jurassic Park, there are subplots that are dropped. They're not that great. Um, so yeah, but final score for Jurassic World is a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed this movie. This movie was fun. Uh, not great. Wasn't expecting it to be. But if you just, like I said, turn your brain off, I think you'll have a good time. Um, I'm having a hell of a lot more better time than I did with Poltergeist. Alright, so, uh, trailers. Um, I had a few, um, or a, a couple. Um, and some new ones. Uh, I got Mocking Jay Part 2. Now, this isn't the new trailer that was released recently. It was the teaser trailer, which, where I think it was like, oh yeah, we don't have anything filmed yet or have any footage to show you. So we're just gonna show all of these, all of the, uh, I mean, all of the Mocking Jay logos that we used for all the previous movies with, line, with audio from all these other movies. And that's it, that's all they showed. Um, and I actually just uh, rented uh, Mockingjay Part 1, so I'll watch it tonight. Uh, and I'll probably uh, get a hold of uh, the Hunger Game, the other Hunger Games later. I'll probably buy the other movies. Um, Fantastic Four uh, is the first trailer. It's, like I said in my reaction video for that trailer, it, it doesn't do anything for me. I mean, I'm gonna give it a chance. I am. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be any good, but I'll give it a chance. Uh, I got Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation. Uh, Mission Impossible Five. There's something I'm looking forward to. I am, and I, I got I got Mission Impossible One and Two uh, saved on my Netflix. Uh, I'll get three and four on DVD probably. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Tom Cruise, Simon Pegg, Ving Rhames, Jeremy Jeremy Renner, Renner. hell, Al, Al fucking Baldwin's in it, so hell yeah. Um, next is Everest. Um, this one, I kind of want to see this. I do. It's supposed to be inspired by or based on true true events. It's got Josh Brolin, Jason Clark, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, Keira Knightley, and um, it's about a group of guys who hike up to the top of Everest, but then a storm comes and they have to survive the descent down. Um, 
I don't like disaster. I'm not big on disaster movies um, rant because, well, I kind of grew up with them in the 90s, so they got a little old and they became very, very soulless after the 2000s. Um, but this isn't really a disaster movie. This is a survival movie. This is kind of like The Gray, and I really liked The Gray. So I'm definitely going to see that. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this. Uh, next is Bridge of Spies. This is Steven Spielberg's new um, new Oscar movie. That's I mean, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. It's an Oscar movie. Uh, from what I see, it's um, the United States has captured a, a Russian spy. Uh, they uh, hire Tom Hanks, who's an insurance attorney, uh, to to make a swap because the Russians had just captured one of their own, uh, has captured an American soldier who was being, who was flying a spy plane. So they need to make a swap and they had to do it at what is currently being built at, which is currently as of right now, still under construction uh, of the Berlin wall. They have to go to Berlin in order for, uh, in order for, this to happen in order for this trade to happen um it felt pretty long though so um the trailer felt was pretty long so but it might be good uh, but it's very evident that uh it's gonna be it's gonna be an oscar movie mostly because it's not a blockbuster um blockbuster uh steven spielberg movie when was the last time we did a blockbuster movie i can't remember uh i'll the look it up. Uh, next is Selfless. It's the same trailer I had last time, um, uh, so I might I might watch it probably. Uh, and last is Minions. That's the last. That's the last. People fucking laughed at this one. Like people fucking laughed at this one. Um. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> that happened. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it for trailers. Um, also, um, hold on a second. Um, something happened over, something, I discovered something over at the, uh, over at the, uh, movie theater today. All right, so for those, uh, for anyone who watches Brad Jones's reviews or Midnight Reviews, he sometimes go to re-releases of previous, of older movies and does reviews of those. Uh, if you're a Patreon, uh, if you're a patron, patron of Patreon, you get them earlier than I would. Um, and, but it's because he also has an AMC theater. Uh, that's usually the case. Well, now the theater I go to, Carmike, is, is going to be doing the same thing. Uh, for like five bucks a ticket and uh, it looks like it's a new thing they just started it for uh, it's a new thing for Carmine but it looks like but we will but they will be getting a re-release of Terminator of the original Terminator so while I originally was considering uh, just watching it at home uh, for the DVD uh, I'm actually going to change that up. I'm actually going to uh, go see it in theaters. Um, honestly, I think that would be better. Um, mostly because I do want to see it in theaters. I've never, like, whenever I hear about a movie being re-released in theaters, um, uh, I want to go. I really do want to go. Um, because it's just one of those things I'm like, yes, I'm super excited for. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, do that with Terminator. Uh, there's, uh, I may even do that with Jaws. Uh, Jaws is being re-released a couple days before that. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that occasionally depending on the movie. Um, so expect just occasional one, some uh, occasional uh, reviews of those um, if I can. Uh, if I, but I mean, I'll ensure I, I'm going to make damn sure I see Terminator. Um, I may end up, uh, what I will also probably do is shoot the other reviews first, or uh, the, uh, the reviews for the other movies first, and then, and then, uh, and, and get, and just get those edited and ready. And then, <clears throat> 
and then shoot my review for Terminator. Uh, that's what I will do. Uh, so yeah, that's it really. Um, so I'll see you guys next time uh, when I hopefully review uh, next week's uh, latest Pixar movie, uh, Inside Out. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. And um, parks open. Bye.